Hey guys, I'm here to make a video about Blu-rays and expressing your rage. Hey guys, I'm here to just talk about the individual expressions of the different rays but also the importance of all the rays working together. A ray is a signature, a colour signature, an energy signature of a soul and we're all here to work together not to be separate you know I started a support group or a, a mutual support group I'm not supporting everybody's supporting each other for blu-rays because primarily because there wasn't that much information on them there's a lot of information on indigos and so forth but the um blu-rays there wasn't quite so much so that's why I started that and another reason is because blu-rays are very sensitive to the energies to other people's energies and they've quite often <clears throat> had paths where they've maybe suffered a bit of abuse a bit of bad treatment and things like that in the past because they actually would rather in general would rev avoid conflict whereas an indigo will just step up and tell you exactly what they think whereas blu-rays are still learning that or just becoming awake enough to be able to do that so it's a very empowering time for blu-rays right now it's a very important time for them all to step up and not to feel like oh gosh i'm so sensitive i just need to go and be a hermit and separate myself and things like that that's not really the whole idea behind it the sensitivity is a gift it's something beautiful it's something yeah precious but it's not to be hidden away it's about expressing it and you know doing it in your own unique way like for example if you're feeling kind of manipulated or cornered by somebody it's probably not going to be your style if you're blu-ray to get really confrontational but it may be your style just to disappear well the time now is actually not to just avoid but to actually step up and say hey actually no that's a little bit overbearing I'm not appreciating this so thank you but no thank you it's about speaking up and owning your strength because blu-rays are not weak <laughs> they're just very sensitive and in that sensitivity is the strength so if you can embrace that sensitivity and treat it like you know something you have that's precious that's wonderful and once you do that you can actually empower yourself to be able to use it in a good way I often say to people who are very sensitive blu-rays and otherwise empaths um, you know if you start using what you have intentionally it stops being overwhelming because you learn how to take charge of it so it's not switched on all the time you know if you're totally open and switched on and you're standing in a supermarket you're probably going to get information overload but once you start working with all of those impressions consciously and purposefully they don't just kind of dump themselves on you anymore you choose when to engage and you choose what you want to look at and what you want to know and what you don't want to know so the time at the moment is about empowering ourselves it's about using it consciously it's not about making ourselves separate or different to others um, we're here because we choose to be we've come here into this incarnation because this is what we want to do and to learn and to grow from the where well, we she came here to consciously empower and to find our own strength and to speak out about what we know and what we see and also to guide others and because blu-rays in general are fairly gentle about how they do that most people don't find it offensive whereas some people you know can be abrasive about when they have knowledge to share blu-rays are generally pretty gentle about sharing their thoughts and ideas and knowledge so i have sort of noticed a bit about the escapism thing and I know it's something I used to do a great deal I just didn't know how to deal with people so I just used to isolate myself I've consciously overcome that in recent times I've actually spent quite a lot of time with people which has been wonderful and awesome and heartwarming and 
no it hasn't been overwhelming at all that's been very very pleasant and that's something I decided to do because it was time that's quite simple so if you're a blu-ray and yeah you've got this tendency to want to escape or want to go home and you know a lot of souls have that feeling from whatever way they come you know we're all wanting having an urge to return to the oneness <laughs> of spirit but that's not what we came here to do just yet we'll do that soon enough everybody will has their time of returning to the oneness of spirit that is a given and that is guaranteed that that time will come but in the meantime we're here to share to grow to learn to love to care to feel to experience and to really open ourselves up to the whole experience that is life here now on this planet and to bring our spirituality into that not to waft out there into <clears throat> you know the spiritual realms and disconnect from the planet but to actually fully bring that consciousness into the here and now into this planet and make it your life make it how you live your life use it as a guideline i mean nobody's perfect gosh we're all people we all have reactions we all have issues we all have things that come up that totally stress us out and things like that that is so normal but you know just keep reminding yourself that you came here yeah to experience this to live through this to grow through this and and you will I just really feel it's a time to back yourself, to love yourself unconditionally, all your human traits as well. We all have them. Um, and the minute we love all of that, it's no longer a big issue or a big burden. You know, that absolute self-love of every aspect, even our flaws, even our quirks, even our... Um, bad habits whatever love it the minute you fight it you're creating separation and duality and it becomes hard whereas if you just embrace it and encompass it and integrate it um, it no longer has any power it's just a part of the whole and it won't have such a big impact on you anymore and if it's a habit that you're not keen on that you don't want to maybe keep it's much easier to love yourself enough to stop that habit than it is to fight yourself to stop the habit. It's, it's a much more pleasant way to do things. But my biggest thing at the moment is really, you know, the different rays. I mean, I meet a lot of people through my work and they're all different rays. They're indigos, they're rainbows, they're crystal children, they're um, all sorts of beings. And I think we've come here all together at this time for a reason and that's not to be separate and that's not to keep ourselves apart but to actually bring our unique gift into the whole to all bring our <clears throat> what we have towards the whole towards the healing of this planet because yeah we're not here to just muck around and do nothing we're here to make a difference to touch some people's lives to empower people to encourage people to show people that they're loved, that they're worthwhile, and to do all of those things. You know, those are very, very strong Blu-ray gifts. Whatever ray you affiliate yourself with that you feels right for you, that you're vibrating with. Um, ultimately, in the ultimate very big picture, we are all one, and we're all one energy. So... The rays are just the different expressions of that vibration. So, yeah, it's it's still we are still all one, whatever ray we're from, and ultimately, one day we'll all become part of the whole again, and things like that, like descriptions, meanings, words, um, won't matter so much. Um, well, they won't matter at all, actually. Anyway, I'm waffling on here because what I'm trying to talk about is actually kind of intuitive as an inner knowing and putting it into words is actually quite tricky sometimes for me because a lot of it has been through just an experience, something I have like felt like a download, a feeling, a knowing, 
and putting that all into nice tidy words is is a bit challenging but yeah I think the general roundup of this whole point of this video is to remind everybody to accept all of themselves to love all of themselves to allow themselves to experience what they've come here to experience and allow yourself to make mistakes one of the biggest traits that not many people talk or talk about with blu-rays is this tendency to be perfectionists you know to expect somewhat unrealistic things of themselves <laughs> and um to have these yeah really high standards for themselves and that's actually not that healthy so being a bit more realistic with what you expect of yourself embracing your human condition embracing being human embracing feeling whatever you're feeling whether it's hurt or anger or sadness or love or joy that all valid and trying to decide that some of them are bad or you shouldn't be having them is actually just going to generate um uh how do you put it a divided ecosystem in your being energetically and you don't want to be doing that so everything can be transmuted through love and acceptance many many years ago when i lived in the marlboro sounds i went through some pretty strong and pretty scary experiences actually i call it as a, a bit of an initiation and i was confronted with some spiritual beings that were terrifying they were nasty and mean and terrifying and ugly and all sorts of things and it was really quite stressful for me at first but with time I mean they never actually hurt me they just scared me um with time I slowly learned that actually the minute I loved and accepted these energies these entities whatever they were they actually just dissolved they no, were no longer in my energy or around my energy. They could no longer actually spend any time around me because I'd brought in a vibration of love towards them and we no longer had any form of engagement or connection. So it was the only way to fight, if you want to call it that, <laughs> these unpleasant beings was to actually just yeah, love it and completely accept them and overcome my fear of them so it's the same internally it showed me something about my own internal aspects you know feeling things is, is sometimes hard especially if you feel hurt or angry or any of those things and owning those feelings is really important and also loving them if you dislike yourself for having anger it doesn't make the anger go away it doesn't it just kind of shuffles it in a corner and suppresses it until something happens and it comes out but if you um, are compassionate with yourself and you feel anger and you give yourself compassion and love and understanding with your anger for your anger um, then you will um, it will actually dissolve it won't be there anymore so yeah disliking aspects of yourself or expecting you to be more than you actually are is totally um, counterintuitive mm. so try complete self-love shine your ray because it's beautiful blue rays do have a unique gift to bring at this time just like indigos do and rainbow children and crystals are all wonderful energy signatures and I'm sure there's a lot more we haven't delved into yet but um, yeah ultimately it's about supporting yourself backing yourself you can't give much to others if you're at war within yourself you can't give much to others if you don't love yourself um, and back yourself and take care of yourself being a martyr is not what it's about you know self-care is important because blue rays are very very sensitive and need to take care of their energy and do have time out it doesn't mean you isolate you just take some time out for however long and then come back um and yeah that's essential self-care so don't trash yourself but also don't hide away the time for hiding and keeping away and not speaking your truth is done it's over so yeah rise up 
enjoy this life enjoy this world it's actually a pretty awesome world we've come into it's pretty amazing um and lots of love to you and i'll see you all in my next video